If you go to the toilet and you don't put the lid down before you flush, when you do flush, then the germs that are in the toilet will then spread around the toilet cubicle, which means that they could land on the toilet seat or on the toilet paper itself. And that means that they can be spread onto your hands and other surfaces later on. We know from studies that around 3,000 organisms can be found per square inch on a keyboard and over 1,600 on a, uh, on a computer mouse. Now, this means that over the course of the day, you might be picking up those bacteria. And then if you suddenly decide to have lunch at your desk without washing your hands first, you're basically transferring those bacteria into your mouth. Around 16% of us carry the norovirus without actually having any symptoms. So you may feel perfectly fine and well, but in fact you could be carrying that organism and spreading it to other surfaces around the office inadvertently if you don't wash your hands after going to the toilet. I'd always recommend using a hand sanitizer when you leave the washroom. This means that if someone else has forgotten to wash their hands, then you haven't picked up their germs and then spread them around the office. And over the course of the day, it's always a good idea to use a hand sanitizer. To combat the sneeze effect, you can use the seat cleaner to make sure that you wipe the germs away. Effective hand washing is one of the simplest ways to stop infection in the office. It's been found that 47% of illness can be reduced by people simply washing their hands effectively, and just 20 seconds of hand washing can stop the journey of the germ. Afterwards, you need to dry your hands thoroughly because it's been found that germs are more likely to be transmitted to other surfaces if your hands are damp. So dry your hands completely and you've done the job properly. Yeah.